Hello students, welcome to the new chapter. Today we will take up unit 6 and discuss about the front office selling techniques. So let me just give you an overview. We will talk about uh, selling techniques that is applied by the front office associate or any other members for a whole. So our basic criteria is selling of rooms. We will have to create a very comfortable, a very suitable environment for our guests. And that is what we have to sell. Apart from rooms, we also have banquets that is to be sold. We also have restaurants, the tables that we are going to sell to the guests. Also, a major fact comes when we are trying to sell them food as well. And everything has to come in accordance to their preference. Once a guest really, uh, when we reach the, their preference, when we attain that height, we are able to please all our guests and we'll make sure that they come back every time to our hotel and they look for our services and they look for us. Uh, so uh, let us just start. Uh, the first subtopic would be marketing. We have to understand the various segments, the various sectors of marketing. The marketing mix, the marketing products, uh, the basic uh, factors that is needed in marketing. Then we'll understand and talk about the various needs, the various demands, the various uh, you know preferences that people look for. We'll also get to understand uh, with the help of diagrams wherein we'll see the overview of a uh, you know channel wherein uh, there are uh, buyers, there are sellers and there's a place wherein they exactly meet. In details we are also going to talk about marketing mix. The seven P's I'm going to describe you all of that and there are other factors which help everything to come together and uh, once we attain that we are able to become uh, experts in selling fields. The other various main uh, sectors that we are trying to attain is customer satisfaction, right? That is our key goal. We are going also to, to, uh, to be talking about uh, group markets, the transient market, the corporate uh, free individual travelers, the uh, corporate guests, the business travelers, the leisure travelers and everything is going to be covered in your chapter. So let us just start with selling techniques. So let us just start. We'll shift on to our first subtopic and talk about marketing. So let us just start with our first subtopic which is marketing so a major question that can come to your mind is that is marketing same as selling a product first let us understand what does the word marketing means so marketing as the definition goes says that it is an overall organizational activity that includes prior planning it includes pricing promotion packaging advertising and selling so all of this is a combination of the term marketing okay it is done for any product any service or any idea which offers value to an end user an end user meaning a guest okay and selling is therefore to, therefore a part of overall marketing process now let us think that we have already done the prior things required but it has to create a value it has to create a demand among the guests let us understand what this value that we are talking about now the value is a customer's thinking value is a simple equation we are definitely most importantly looking for one major thing that is the benefit that we are getting out of any product so what is the equation like? Benefits of purchase minus price of purchase. So these two play a major part. And once we get this equation correct, we will understand the value of a product or the service that we are paying for or the idea that we are investing for. So Logically, the greater the value of a product is in the customer's mind, the higher will be the demand for the product, right? Now that we have spoken about value, let us understand apart from value, there are other different things. 
so this basically concept is taken up from economics and uh, you know everything is correlated i'll be showing you a diagram and explaining you in details about all of these factors so first come needs okay needs is now divided into two sub separate topics one is wants and the other is demands i'll be explaining you the difference between a want and a demand now want for example is divided into value and the next one is satisfaction demand for example is divided into quality we'll start with explaining this diagram so let us talk about need a need is our basic criteria okay for all living things we have needs simple basic needs which is food self respect a shelter a place to live in and uh, we need people we need a family to spend our lives with now if we talk about wants want is an expression of what we need so suppose uh, i want uh, a chocolate that's a want a simple want if we talk about demand now let us understand that a demand is created when uh, the want is being backed up by the willingness and the ability to pay so we understand there is a little hindrance we understand uh, there there can be a little problem that we can face but a demand is created when we when all of this is go uh, going back in our mind so i am demanding i need 50 chocolates that's a demand okay i need need this coloring book that's a demand that you make to your parents now what are we doing all of this for we are doing this for a product and what will the product do the product will satisfy satisfy our hidden needs maybe it can satisfy our uh, hidden wants or demand of the customer or the guest now let us talk about values a value is a customer's thought about the product being a good bargain or if if it's a good bargain or not uh, not a good bargain suppose i'm investing 50000 in a property in a land is uh, is that investment a proper investment is it needed is it necessary so that has to create a demand first only then we'll be able to understand and analyze the value of it now we'll talk about the satisfaction so satisfaction is a mental state okay it's a mental judgment uh, that we do that we make when we are making a purchase when we are doing a purchase so uh, it can be good it can be better it can be best you know way better than we have expected so suppose i am buying uh, this uh, sari for my mother on her birthday so that's uh, i am understanding the quality uh, this is my first purchase with my money for her birthday now this satisfaction that i uh, have got in my brains this satisfaction that i have reached is more than i can ever uh, imagine more than i can ever explain to any person because uh, this is out of love this doesn't uh, you know come across as a business transaction so that's what i mean by satisfaction now coming to quality now the quality of a, a product is its ability to satisfy the customer's need so for example the sari that i gave my mother it has to be uh, it has to happen uh, of a very beautiful color that can suit my uh, mother it, maybe um, it's you know because she is an uh, aged lady so it has to uh, follow the trend wherein uh, she can the sari is comfortable as a whole the material is uh, soft and silky and the color really suits her and uh, ultimately when she wears the sari she, uh, she's satisfied so when i see that she is satisfied me being a purchaser me uh, being the major customer i am happy and uh, this will create a uh, quality check for me 
Now quality is uh, also based on ISO standards. Okay, we have nine thousand is to uh, twenty five uh, twenty fifteen, and there is also ISO nine thousand one to twenty fifteen. Now these are the standards based on seven qualities of uh, management principles that uh, uh, management can apply for the organizational improvement. we'll start with our second sub topic which is marketing process overview i have uh, drawn a figure a diagram uh, i would request all of you to take the previous diagram as well as this one let us now talk about marketing process overview now before we uh, start with marketing process overview we'll have to understand the marketing mix marketing mix is a combination of the factors in marketing plan this can be controlled by companies to influence uh, you know their customers to purchase its products now marketing mix has the four main major products which is product price place and promotion so now let me explain you the diagram a very simple diagram so at first we have a buyer now the buyer will help us with the flow of money and this flow of money will be done inside a marketplace now then comes the seller he has a continuous flow of products this is the channel that we first have to take a note on this includes products price promotion and place right then if we come to the cycle from the buyer we get the flow of information and from the seller again we get the flow of information so this is a channel now from the seller we have a feedback thing that he is looking for it he is attaining from the buyer now this is again a cycle he is looking for a feedback from the seller or the producer okay now this section this section depends on the people the process and the physical evidence and the utility of the product now this is what i am talking about an overview an overview of the market mix now see i have uh, drawn for you an example a diagram of marketing mix so first we have the product the price of the product the promotion that is ongoing for the product and the place wherein we are trying to sell or trying to make this investment so everything is interrelated so you see everything is connected so in this unit in this section which is your third section we are going to talk in details about the seven p's of marketing so uh, let us go and understand this diagram in details so this is a diagram of a marketing mix we are talking about the seven p's of surface of marketing mix kindly again note this diagram down in your front office journal so let us take the first topic as product now product is what to sell and whom to sell we have to understand what are we selling and who are we selling to we are selling a product a commodity now we'll talk about the price now price has a great value for the buyer and a profitability for the seller okay it has to have a value only then shall we buy right and it has to have a profitability then otherwise what is the motive of buying it uh, as in selling it to the customer now we'll talk about a place a location wherein we shall sell it 
and there are method of how to sell it we shall next talk about the promotion now promotion is maybe the publicity the ad the scheme basically to attract the customer or the guest okay we'll talk about people now people are those giving service are important who are we targeting the target market now next is the process process is time or steps to be taken so the different various steps that we are uh, trying to do publicity or the schemes that we are uh, you know formulating to attract our people the guest now then we have physical evidence so physical evidence is basically intangibility intangible services that is backed up by uh, maybe a photo or a sample uh, or a tour or anything so for example if uh, a person is uh, so for example uh, if i am a part of a sales team um, and my uh, customer my guest has come to me looking for a you know banquet or maybe a wedding that he or she is uh, trying to um make happen i will have to uh, formulate and give him a show round of the hotel he or she has to first understand if my banquet is capable enough of accommodating maybe 500 packs if uh, the menu layout that we are providing matches their needs and uh, okay needs come into play because i said everything is interrelated so uh, if uh, for example they are gen so if every menu can be formulated if every menu can be tailored and made into a uh, you know no onion no garlic if um, there are certain vip guests and they need to be escorted so um, everything everything from uh, hotel show round to uh, banquet show round to the fixtures the furnitures uh, whatever my needs are whatever the customers needs are if i am trying to uh, you know attain uh, that if i am trying to give my best and make everything possible is what basically combines in uh, this this is your section 4 of unit 6 we are going to talk in details about marketing mix so let us understand that uh, every marketing activity is majorly focused on one main thing that is customer satisfaction and uh, this basically is uh, supported by the seven p's of marketing so in details let us take up this topic and talk about the same so that's your diagram of a marketing mix so like i said that every market uh, is basically uh, aimed to satisfy one major thing that is the customer satisfaction that's our key goal and there are several factors that motivate to reach a customer satisfaction these are the factors these are the major factors these are the underlying factors so you see there are uh, the ones in purple so you see these purple lines these are the major factors and the ones in browns these are the underlying sub factors so this is basically a market segment so uh, we know that all customers are not the same so it is not possible to you know in a broad way to uh, reach the satisfaction or uh, to have a proper classification on such a basis we'll uh, have to really uh, take a note on the income the age the gender maybe a city or a religion for uh, our uh, specific team uh, who can adjust the seven p's uh, or maybe uh, a hotel to make an attractive offer to a particular segment so now uh, hotels are broadly classified into uh, two segments so the two segments is one is group and the other is fit which is free individual traveler so this is basically a pie diagram for your better understanding now i have divided uh, this pie chart according to color segments okay so you see this is a pie chart as a whole now 8% is divided by the free individual travelers okay the purple section is by fit leisure now 8% is your business traveler 
and leisures, normal uh, families may be coming out for vacations and all of that. 41% of them is majorly corporate clientiles. The red section is tour operators, online travel agents. They basically take up 21%. Then we have mice. Mice is 17%. Approximately, uh, maybe twenty percent of the seventeen percent of the whole of the uh, hotel. Then we have travel agents. They take up ten percent. Now, group is taken care major, uh, majorly by corporate, maybe mice, maybe uh, travel agent, tour operators, and the uh, transient market is uh, majorly taken up by uh, business travelers or free individual travelers. topic and talk about selling techniques now selling techniques can be divided into two sections okay one is a personal level of uh, selling technique and the other one is a telephonic or maybe through email through faxes uh, through uh, leaflets all of this can be done now a personal level of uh, selling technique is wherein we are meeting our guests we are meeting our customers on a face-to-face -face basis uh, so through that we are propagating, we are telling them about our brand, we are telling them about uh, the formulas, we are telling them about uh, the selling, uh, the product that we are trying to sell and motivating them. Uh, that is through a personal level. Now we come to telephonic uh, selling technique that is uh, everything is done, the same major rules are done but basically through a medium. So that's your selling uh, through telephone. We'll now move on to our seventh subtopic, which is uh, attain how to attain uh, the successful steps of selling techniques. We'll take up suggestive selling. Now, in suggestive selling, uh, it is basically done uh, from the associate side, wherein uh, suppose. Um, uh, I'm an uh, associate of uh, XYZ Hotel and you are the guest. Suppose you come and uh, you're ordering for uh, maybe a coffee. What I can do is uh, just to increase my sale, I can give you certain suggestions. Maybe, uh, maybe that, uh, so would you like to go ahead and try some cookies? We have really good option. So with your coffee, you can definitely offer them this. If, you're, if you do not like cookies, can we get you uh, maybe a uh, tea time cake, maybe a muffin, maybe uh, anything to nibble on, just coffee, would you like to just sip on coffee? So like this we can you know make suggestions, we can give our guests suggestions wherein uh, if they buy that's absolutely go good, if not at least I made an effort to you know upsell uh, from my end. Now talking about cross selling, uh, this is majorly happening in your banquets. So basically, uh, this is a combination. It's a com uh, combining offer wherein, you know, uh, for example, in real world, if we see, uh, if you buy uh, this XYZ brand shampoo, you get a conditioner free. So you're paying a little more, but then you're getting something complimentary. That's your cross-selling. That's uh, your combination. So cross-selling is basically, um, uh, if you, for example, if I am in charge of an events team, I am uh, giving you... Uh, you know meals uh, seven meals for rupees 2000 a plate if you add uh, two more thousand you get a uh, parking free so that is the basically motto wherein uh, cross selling comes into play talking about discount or down selling this uh, majorly happens in uh, you know off season when the season is uh, pretty low and uh, there's no much not much hike so uh, when we see that uh, maybe if we uh, you know give it give the rooms for, for example give the buffet at a discounted rate maybe they will get a little more customers than we are uh, majorly getting now so that's also a promotion maybe uh, you know instead of getting uh, just 10 customers now that we have uh, you know lowered the price a little we are getting 15 so that's a good business again uh, for the hotel because Majorly in an in like in a day if we have uh, instead of having just hundred guests uh, because due to a lower price now that we are getting two hundred guests it's definitely uh, upscale at the end of the day right. 
now we are talking about down selling uh, down sell uh, down selling for example it's majorly takes place as internet marketing wherein a product is offered at a very low rate okay uh, now uh, definitely will grab the attention of the customers and uh, you know we uh, if we do not get we are trying to have an alternate product an alternate uh, you know attraction wherein uh, the customer we we should basically never uh, take a no from our customer we are trying to mend our uh, products in such a way we are trying to um, make in such efforts wherein we do not lose our customers so that's our key goal so basically uh, when we uh, study and take a glimpse of this chapter we understand our basic everything comes to one major thing that is customer satisfaction we have to mold ourselves we have to mold uh, everything according to the customer's preference wherein uh, once we uh, you know get that everything is under our control if uh, once we get the trust we get the belief of our customers there's uh, no looking back we'll make sure that the customer not us basically the customer will make sure that they uh, in search of good uh, quality product they definitely comes to us Now apart from housekeeping or production or F&B service the most important thing of a selling technique is required to be maintained by your front office staff he or she may be selling rooms or upgrading or upselling or cross selling the customer and through this we will have to reach the customer satisfaction so let us understand how hotels take care of this So for most of the sale of the hotel rooms comes from marketing and sales of a department hotel only generates sales from direct call faxes emails a front office staff is however expected to learn and follow the selling techniques to be able to earn more revenue at a local level now let us check what are the techniques that i was talking about that the front office staff or the front office associate has to make a note on they'll have to check overbooking first they'll have to check relationship selling upselling suggestive selling and cross selling so you see this is a front office personnel first she'll have to understand marketing with proper marketing with fixing targets with fixing which market she wants to take care of she will have to sell the items in our case it is the rooms with proper selling with proper uh, identifying of overbooking upselling and suggestive selling we will be able to attain the growth that we are aiming for with this we finish in house sales technique as a whole in the next video we'll be talking about overbooking relationship selling upselling suggestive selling and cross selling in details with the seven important steps of a successful uh, selling technique we are first going to talk about how to deal with overbooking so overbooking is a practice of accept taking more reservation than the number of available room is overbooking so more than the hotel can uh, accommodate we are trying to take beyond that now hotel reservations also get cancelled or amended now if the cancellation is made near the date of expected check in it is difficult to again sell the room but some guests do not come that is no show without informing the hotel during that time the hotel can uh you know attain suffer financial loss now to minimize this risk we the hotel or the reservation teams take up overbooking as a policy we'll talk about relationship selling wherein a hotel maintains guest history and take regular feedback through guest relations executive and try to please the guest through highly personalized service maybe we can if they are coming on their birthday we can uh, help them with a bouquet from our side maybe a small little cake cake from our side maybe if they are not at present at the hotel we can send them a greetings card we can help them with a little bouquet or a uh, you know uh, maybe chocolates 
मे बी मोल्डेड यू नो लिटिल टोकन्स फ्रॉम दी होटेल साइड जस्ट टू क्रिएट अ मेमरी नाउ द मार्केटिंग टीम इज बेसिकली अंडर दिस so they send them greetings and like i said offers uh, newer benefits newer uh, you know details to them wherein they can make this they special and remember us now this rel- relationship is based through mutual understanding definitely through trust trust and respect now moving on to the next topic which is upselling this is a very important and an interesting topic kindly make a note now upselling is a selling technique where the seller motivates the customer to purchase more expensive items maybe we can upgrade that is a different term that is uh, what we used in uh, front office or add an in an attempt to make a more profitable sale in practice large businesses usually combine upselling and cross selling to maximize profit now these suggestions is made after a careful analysis that the now the suggestion is made after a careful analysis that the original product may not satisfy the guest needs fully so there are three techniques of upselling let us understand what are the three techniques the first technique is top to down the second technique is bottom to up the third is midriff shift now top to down is basically when uh, the front office associate is uh, starting from a higher rate okay and then according to the guest preference wherein we can understand what is exactly he looking for and how much can he bear so we can lower down our upselling scheme bottom to up wherein we start from the lower base a discounted rate and then uh, when the, uh, when we see there is a bargaining lot of bargaining going on we can make efforts we can give them special discounts that's definitely on the hands of the front office associate whoever is taking maybe uh, supposedly the check in or uh, you know not just the front office team as a whole if there is a sales team involved they can also follow the same procedures then we have the uh, mid rate shift uh, which starts with a medium rate so uh, there is a uh, neither a uh, you know bargaining happening from the guests ends neither uh, you know we are quoting high prices we start at a mid rate wherein we you know things can go up little up and things can definitely go a little down wherein uh, there's a you know uh, a balance created with this we finish unit 6 which is selling techniques understand in brief uh, what all did we cover so we covered uh, the difference with, between selling and marketing we understand what marketing mix is we understand uh, you know terms like needs wants demand satisfaction quality we understood marketing mix the four products uh, the seven apps of marketing mix we understood marketing segments selling techniques maybe uh, up selling cross selling uh, down selling all of this so uh, again a very easy chapter to understand also uh, do not without fail uh, forget to take down the diagrams and put it in your front office journal